We have a brand new collection from our friends at Hunky Dory. It is called Spring Bird Song, and wait till you see. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, normally Heidi does projects for us, but the dear soul is having back issues, so she's resting, and Lene has gallantly stepped up, and we have some projects from her, so please come play with us. Now the Spring Bird Song Collection has several parts and pieces, you might have guessed that. We have the uh, Luxury Topper Collection. This will make at least 16 cards. It has the foiled pieces. In fact, there are 112 foiled pieces. There are eight foiled cardstock, eight printed cardstock, and there is an idea sheet included. So that becomes the base of what we do. We also have uh, 36 inserts, and Lene has done something different with those so that's really nice to see there's also an 8x8 uh, picture perfect pad and they are padded at the top we'll show you how Lene has used those there are also parchment sheets and she's done some tearing and some fun things with that of course there is the adorable scorable there is what we call a product video on all of these items on every single one at paper wishes the last thing that i'll show you is what they call a concept card kit now this has a kit obviously that's going to make uh, cards that are in the shape of birdhouses and i finished one for you so that will be our fourth card so let's get started with what Lene has done we'll get in just a bit closer so we can really see and um, this card is five inches by six and a half inches it has several layers and let me show you what Lene has done she has taken she started with the picture perfect pad that's that eight by eight one and you really get your value in this because most of the sheets are like this. They are a collage of different images um, that has a black line, so they're super easy to cut out with your trimmer. And let me show you. So she has taken this one, and uh, that's what she has used. Now, Lene did do a bit of inking on the edge of it. So she took the... Um, again from Hunky Dory, their prism ink pads, and this is roasted coffee. And so she has used this on the edge of this piece that she cut out. So that worked just really nicely. And you can see it really makes it stand out. Now, in addition to that, she has taken this sheet out of that same uh, pad and she has cut this to be a little bit smaller than her card so that the card becomes a white mat on it. And this, she also inked the edges. And as you probably know, inking the edges of anything is just this simple. You simply run your ink pad along the edge. Now, you may not be able to see that against that black background, but it is giving an edge to it. And it's so easy to do. And as you can see, it really defines the edges, so it's really easy to do that. Now, that first layer um, was glued down, but then she took a piece of the parchment. Now, the parchment has a lot of different images in it, and again, you can see that on the website. And so she took a piece and she tore the edges. Now, let me just do that with you. So this is about an inch wide and as long as the card. So she simply just tore it. So I'm going to go, well, it's about an inch, and then I'm just going to tear it. And vellum kind of has a grain to it, like paper does. So you can see I am pulling it along the grain. And you're going to get a little bit of white on each side. If you turn it over, you're still going to see that little bit of white. Now you can ink it if you want to. Lene didn't. She simply glued it down on top of the pink paper, and then she put this inked piece on top. So that worked nicely. Now, going to the, her message on her card, she has used the script greetings, and this is the one in primary colors. So let me pull these out. So primary colors, well, you can see the green, but she, we've got red, we have got blue, we've got yellow and there we go as well as black and brown so those colors are on three different uh, sheets all of those in very colors and 
how fun to let it go this way, to go along the way the image is placed. So that just worked very nicely. Now, the other thing that she did is she used jute twine and this comes in our pack. These are 72 inches long, and you can see the variety of color. So she selected that hot pink one and wrapped it around her card. Now, on the inside of her card, you know, with Heidi has done so many things with the inserts, but I think this is the first time I've seen them used kind of like as an insert. So what Lene did, she took the sheet again with the matching art that goes right along with that front image and she trimmed it to be to fit the inside of her card so simply place it like so and just trim it to fit that works fold it in half and then look what she did she glued put a bead of glue just down the score line just down that fold inserted the insert <laughs> place the insert and then pressed it down. Now that leaves this to be unattached. And also this is unattached. So it just makes an insert on the inside of her card. Really like that. You can see her jute was double wrapped. Now, if it bothers you that that's flapping, well, you can simply put a little bit of glue there and hold it down. And the same thing on this side, although you really don't need to unless you want to. Now for our greeting there, that is another sheet on the uh, perfect pad. And you can see birthday wishes right here. She did ink that the same as she did on the front with the uh, roasted coffee ink pad. And she did uh, just foam tape that in place, gives it a little bit of lift. So really nice, nice way to use these in something a little bit different. Okay, now let's go to our second one. And this card is a gatefold card, but it is turned on its side. And let me just open this for you. Here we go. So it's going to go like that and like that. So you can see how that's opening. Now what Lene did is she took the adorable scorable and she trimmed it to be her card. So that's not true. I stand corrected. She took the five by six and a half inch card, okay, and um, folded the two sides to go into the center to make her gatefold. And you really want to score that first, which is going to make a better fold than I just did. But you can see that you bring that to the center. Don't have them overlap, just have them touch. And then Okay, now we can bring this in, Paulette. This piece is the um, adorable scoreable that's in the kit. And so she cut a piece starting over here. So she didn't have the teapot in it that's going to match the five by six and a half inch card. And then she cut it in half. And then she glued each half to a flap on the front. So here we go. You can see that that piece has got the uh, little flowers at the top, the daisies, and the green at the bottom. Now, she knew that she was, of course, going to use the foiled uh, uh, pieces, the die cut and foiled pieces. In fact, this is out of the, the sheet that she used, and it's called Rustic Charm. Now, there are three pieces here. There's this oval, there is a foiled piece, and then there is another piece. So this middle one, she did not use. So you can use that on a different project. So she used the inner and the outer. So you can see that she glued the inner piece just to the top and the outer piece just to the bottom. That way they can kind of come together and marry to be on the front of the card. Works really nicely. Now, all she added was some thin line dazzles. Can you see that sparkle at the top and the bottom? Well, she wanted to kind of duplicate the shine that's on the foiling. So the thin line dazzles, there are um, four sheets in here, black, white, gold, silver. I think that's true, yep. 250 of them, and you can see she's got a scallop at the top, and she's got a little, uh, little narrow one at the bottom. Doesn't take much with those, and they add such a nice look. 
Now the bow, of course, is out of the yellow ribbon set, and that worked nicely. And then the birthday wishes, that comes out of a different sheet, and I'll show you that sheet in the next card. But to go on the inside of her card, she used the insert that coordinates, and then she used the adorable squirrel this yellow, just to give a little bit of layering onto the inside. So you can see there's that fits the inside, and then she cut this to be a little bit shorter than that five inches, glued it in place. And the border, well, the border is right here. It's out of that same sheet where she took her little, a little pot, her little teapot. And the have a lovely day, that's right here. She foam taped it up. And again, the little yellow ribbon out of that same ribbon set finishes this off. And you can interconnect those layers as you close the card. It really is handy, as Lene told me, to use the adorable scoreable, the mini adorable scoreable, because it just um, lets you do those score lines so easily, much easier than I just demonstrated to you. Okay, let's go to our next card. And this is a five inch square card. Now you can cut your five by six and a half inch card down. You can make your own. You can do however you want. But what I love about this is this window in the front. How nice is that? Well, you can probably imagine that this is the parchment that's on top, but let me show you what Lene did. So as I said, uh, we do have five by five cards but you can cut it down from the five by six and a half, or you can just make it yourself, whatever you like. The important thing is to get this window. And of course, the window comes from, you would guess it, if you've watched us very long, we just love these, um, these dies that have, have um, the straight edge and the scalloped edge together. This happens to be the square set. And so she placed the cutting die there, and then, open the card up and just ran it through the machine. And there you get your window all ready for you. And so she is going to use the parchment and she wanted to allow, as you can see in the finished card, that white edge to show. So this is becomes a little bit smaller than five inches square. It's just a smidge shorter. Now with the parchment, um, there's really not a right side and a wrong side. There is a printed side and then there is a non-printed side. Let me turn this over. Can you see how that's lighter than this piece? It's because this is the printed side. Generally, we put the printed side facing you because we want that, that punch, that um, really pretty color. And you can simply glue this in place right over that window. And then let me show you what she used because I thought it was really clever how she did this. Now, that little bird is going to come from this sheet. It's called Sunny Days, and there's that little bird. However, you see that lovely piece around the corner of it, that frame? Well, that isn't from this sheet. It's from this sheet. And you can see that frame, really nice. I like that. It's a little heavier frame. It's got some dots on it. And that was placed right around the opening. And then this piece was foam taped in the center. And then the Just For You, well, that is on the sheet with the little birds. The Just For You is also foam taped. Now. Our foam tape of choice is, of course, the best value, which is this great big one. And um, it's, just, it's just a great value, and it's wonderful to already have it at your fingertips. Okay, so again, the yellow uh, ribbon set is made a bow there. And you can see how this, you can really see how it uh, looks right there. Now, if you are looking on the inside, you would see foam tape. So Lene has an answer to that. She put the little circle, which is sending well wishes. It's right next to the just for you. So that covers up our foam tape. Down below, there is a border. And again, it's on this sheet. And she just glued it right down at the bottom. That little circle <laughs> comes from another sheet. 
and she just foam taped out on top. So there's plenty of room if you want to write something. Probably want to keep it within that space so it is hidden from view. And just a really sweet card. I love the, the yellow color. We're just so ready for, for spring, aren't we? Okay, now I did tell you that there is the concept card kit. So I want to walk you through and tell you, share with you how easy it is to make that card. And I learned a new word in doing this. Okay, now you do need a little bit of extra sticky tape to do this, so that will be fine. And there are directions. Let me see if I pulled them out to show you. Um, okay, well, they're just right there, okay? Now, what you get with this kit is you're going to get, I don't wanna show you that one, <laughs> I'm gonna show you this, because you're going to get this sheet in um, four colors and you're gonna get two of each, so you can make eight cards. So it's just like this. This is the one that I use to make the sample. So you can see that card, it's already scored, so you just fold it. It's got the door, it's got the um, roof line, it's got the this base piece, and it's got decorative pieces. Now, so you have this, and you also have an envelope for the finished card. You've got it in blue, in yellow, in green, and in pink. And like I said, you get two of each. Now, you also have a sheet that looks like this. And this is so that you've got things that are foiled that you can foam tape or glue to the front or the inside of your card. You also have these coordinating pieces that go on the inside of your card. They're all done, they're all shaped to fit, and it just works so easily. So, so easy. So you simply punch everything out, then you use the, phone, the extra sticky tape on this little hinge so that you can attach that to the front of your card. And look at that, it's so easy to position because you just let it follow the wood grain, just makes that easy. Then foam tape, the roof. Now the word that was new to me is plith, plith, P-L-I-T-H, it's in the instructions by Hunky Dory. It is the base piece. So you uh, foam tape that in place, and then you can play with the artwork. I foam taped and glued pieces, um, both on against the, the uh, birdhouse as well as on the plith, and right there for a wonderful friend is one of them. And then on the inside, there's that piece, and then I did this little guy, although you can see him when you open, you also could use any of the greetings. So they've got um, Home Sweet Home, Happy Easter, let's see, Sending Loves and Hugs, Get Well Wishes. Each of the sheets has two different ones. So that is really nice. And it's nice that you get the coordinating envelope too. So you will be able to make eight of these absolutely charming little birdhouses. And that's what their Hunky Dory's concept card kits. Whenever you see that, it's one design done in multiple colors and different ways. So very fun to see. So this is our collection of the Spring Bird Song. You can see there are so many pieces and so many fun things you can do. I um, especially want to thank Lene for pitch hitting and certainly hope, Heidi, that you're getting better. Um, and want to thank you for watching us. If you're watching us on YouTube, you can see the link to Paper Wishes. We hope you th you'll like us and subscribe to us. We'd love to share this with you. And we do have 20 webisodes every month, sometimes a few more, so um, stick with us. <laughs> and I want to thank you most of all for being part of our Paper Wishes family. We'll see you next time.